Hello guys, welcome back. This is a tarot reading, a love tarot reading on Aries. I hope everyone is well in their energy, in their power, in their element. Okay, so let's tap right in. So we're going to start off with five cards. Let's go. So we have eight of wands, walking away emotionally and pulling back. And we have the will of fortune, divine timing, karma, change, good fortune and destiny. And we have nine of wands, feeling defensive, not giving up and exhausted okay and we have nine of pentacles independent security and success and last but not least we have king of wands someone passionate magnetic and disciplined so already i'm feeling good energy of this a bit of confusion. Uh, patience is running out. <laughs> but that's okay. Hmm. I feel like you're going to be at peace. Like you have a peace of mind, some kind of clarity Okay, some kind of clarity is coming your way. Some kind of clarity is coming your way. Where you're going to be able to sleep at night. You know, like you're going to be able to rest. Like you or you are putting things to rest, which is which is amazing. Okay? You could be dealing with someone and it's the situation you're in is not out in the open. You know, it's more of a, um, it's more of a, a secret relationship, if you will. Yeah, it's more of a secret relationship, okay? And you're happy in secrecy you're not putting it out you're not putting it all out there it's like you're more low-key dealing with this person it's like you're not about to tell the whole fucking world about this person how this person makes you feel okay you're not feeling defensive not giving up you're exhausted i feel like there will be a challenge with that, with the situation, okay? Someone is going to challenge your happiness, but you're going to be, you're going to be ready for whatever comes your way, okay? You're going to defend the right person. You're going to defend the right relationship. I feel like it's a secret bond, <laughs> Um, I feel like there will be some kind of uh, manipulation, some kind of conflict, uh, some some kind of drama dealing with a offer a person is giving you, and it did it, it just didn't make it, or it was it was just bullshit from the start. Okay, it was built on bullshit. It was more of their hand was out all the time than anything. I feel like you're in some kind of third party situation where you're getting your needs met. You're getting fulfilled, but you're still linked to another person where it's just conflict, games, just bullshit, right? It's just bullshit. It's like, I don't love you, 
no more i don't care no more there is no love there's no emotions no fe no feelings there's nothing left nothing is going right um at first you may have been in denial and you may have been dealing with this person for many years even though you was dealing with this person forever uh, pretty much dealing with this situation, this relationship, it was like the, the person you was involved with, they was very intelligent, like, uh, you know, the gift of the gab. <laughs> they put a lot of time and effort into the relationship. Now you're at a point where you want to go towards someone who is more caring, uh, long term, more spiritually grown type of thing. It's like they know how to be serious. OK, let's go back to the king of ones here. Someone passionate, magnetic, disciplined. Right. They know how to be serious. They know how to commit. They know how to be loyal. That's who you want to be with. That's who you want to be bothered with. That person. Because when you lift your head up and you look at your other situations, it's deception, it's manipulation, it's lying to self, it's backstabbing a lot, a lot of bullshit. But I do feel like through this death, you know your self-worth. It's a feeling of, this is where I need to be right now in my life. At this point. This is where I need to be right now at this point in my life. That's where you're, that's how you're looking at it. Somebody is getting blocked. <laughs> okay, somebody is getting blocked. Someone's walking away. Someone's pulling the back. Someone's pulling back. Someone's looking out for themselves. Okay? Somebody is getting blocked. <laughs> they can't get through to you with emotions, feelings, apologies, and you know what? Rightfully so. We don't need that shit. <laughs> you know? We don't need that shit no more. Once again, you're standing up for yourself far as happiness because someone is finna challenge you someone is finna challenge you and try to ruin your happiness do not let nobody ruin your happiness for fuck's sake don't let nobody ruin your happiness fuck all of that shit stand your own stand in your own growth keep working on yourself guys because you're looking at it like I have the power to remove this shit out of my life. Like I have the power to drop this person. OK, like drop this bullshit. That's how you're looking at it. And that's amazing. That's amazing that you've come this far. Without really anybody's help. That's amazing. That's amazing. You're still, you're still, and hopefully, hopefully you will remain in this energy of, I'm still going to be myself. You're not going, you're not getting out of control with this. You know, you're not getting out of control with this shit. You're not giving your power away to this shit, you know? Because whoever, whoever you blocked, whoever is the toxic person, right? Whoever is the, uh, yeah, just the toxic person, right? Who's trying to bring you down and low, bright, low vibrations, right? Not on your level, okay? You are moving away from that. You are. Because they're a total fucking mess. All these mind games and manipulation. 
It's bullshit. So, so you're going to maintain control, whatever the case may be. Don't let them irritate your soul because it, it's not. You don't deserve that. You deserve better. And you know who will treat you better. I feel like the person I'm talking to. The, sorry, the person who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking about, sorry. You know exactly who I'm talking about. You know who's going who's going to treat you better. You know who um, will not lie to you, not play games with you. You know this person will commit to you. You know they will be loyal to you. They want to see you grow. They will help you with your empire. You know? It's no toxicity. There's no lies. And that's the person you want to be with. That's the person who you want to bother with. So keep working on yourself. You must also give them time as well. Because it's not going to happen overnight. You know, try not to bombard these your a pacific person with text messages uh like a hundred missed calls emails the most important thing is your happiness okay so you don't need anybody to make you happy in the first place right so make sure you're eating right make sure you're looking after yourself okay make sure you're working on yourself before anything else happens okay because if you are manifesting a specific person they will come back it is working okay the universe is telling you is telling you i got your back i got it from here okay um so it's important that you remain in your energy so when people do come back from your past or specific person you are well aware you are prepared for all kind of income, for all for all outcomes of the situation, you're ready. But you need to be in your energy. You need to remain strong. You need to remain happy. Your person can give you love. They can they can they can help your business expand. They can give you opportunities. They can make you feel. They can do everything you desire. But only you can wake yourself up only you can put a smile on your face only you can look after yourself not your person they can love you but only you can make yourself happy no one can do that for you guys no one can do that for you you have to do that for yourself you have to love yourself in order to love someone else okay so keep working on yourself if you are in this element of manifest manifestation it is working it is working not giving up okay exhausted i can feel that i can feel that the person you may dream about fantasize about you know, you just get that warm, loving, like, just feeling. <laughs> they are coming forth. Okay, they are breaking up. They are getting rid of toxic people in their lives. They are waking it up to you. It will not happen overnight. They will come forth within, okay, a week to a month two months max but within that time right my collectors my friends people what are you doing okay what are you doing are you working on yourself are you are you fulfilling your dreams are you starting your own youtube channel are you taking walks in the morning to clear your mind? Are you looking after your household? Are you looking after 
your soul, your spirit? Are you eating the right foods? Are you cooking the right meals? These are the things that we need to work on as human beings to receive more good energy and more love. Because where does it all come from? Where does love come from? Within us. I have it. I have a tattoo. Uh, God, I almost forgot what it said. <laughs> um, my tattoo states, um, love comes within. Best quotes I've ever come across. Okay, Don't ask me who, <laughs> where I found it. But love comes within. Love comes within. And I stand by that. From my past experiences. Okay. I stand behind it. So it's important that we work on ourselves first. If you're confident living in abundance mindset. And you know that your person is coming forth. The right person is coming forth. Then you need to be happy. Regardless of the outcome, regardless if they only come in your life for an hour or two, regardless, be happy. Okay? I think we, we get so caught up in social media and, you know, how many followers do they have and do they still have Facebook and we don't need to worry about that. Okay? Because we're all blessed. We all have unique um, attributes. We all have unique... Um, we're just all amazing in different ways, okay? No one's better than anybody. No one's... You know, that's not what I'm trying to get at. I'm, what I'm trying to say is we're all equal. So, if your person is going through hell just to get to you, they want to see improvement they do they want to come back and be like yes i knew it i knew my person was working on themselves i knew they was happy i knew they wasn't angry at me yeah they may be a little bit frustrated duh, 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 but everything's gonna be okay now that's 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 self-love okay it will be a happy ever after if you are in love with yourself first. Okay. Be happy, guys. You know, that's the main thing. That's the main energy that I'm picking up. We must remain in our energy and not lose control over other people's mistakes in the past. Because we don't live there no more. They may live there. They may be suffering for consequences. But that's not your burden. If they don't tell you all the shit that they're going through, going through in life, you won't know what they're going through because you're too busy working on yourself, on your kid's future, on today, now, living in the moment. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you didn't need, you don't need validation. Your validation is the mirror, okay? The reflection of your smile, your new outfit, how your hair's shining. You're glowing. You don't need validation. Your person did, and that's their mistakes. That's where their uh, downfalls and flaws come into play. But while they're fixing that and coming forth towards you, Right? While they're coming towards us, we are working on ourselves. We are putting in the work in. Okay? Who wants to share dreams? Who wants to share accomplishments? Hard work. You're putting in that hard work now. You want to share it with someone. Share it with yourself first. Put in the hard work into yourself first. And then everything else will plan out the way it's intended to. Everything works out in God's timing. 
a lot of people are frustrated, exhausted, okay? Nine of ones, we're exhausted, okay? We're exhausted, we're fucking exhausted, okay? But your angels, God, right, in you is saying, hold on, okay? What have, we, what have we done today, okay, uh, have we had breakfast today, that's the most important meal of the day, have you, um, how was you feeling when you woke up today, was you positive, did you help someone today, did you help yourself today, okay, that's where love comes from, that's where love comes from, self-love, love comes within, okay, love comes within, If you're struggling and you need help, guidance, check out the programs in the description box, guys. So yeah, that's the main energy. Please share and like if this content was helpful in any way. Love and blessings. Bye, guys.